Since Wednesday, close to 400 girls from the United States, Canada, and South Korea have been competing in the fifth annual Nationals, the largest and longest running all girls baseball tournament. Joining me now are a couple of ladies who know a thing or two about baseball, Mabel and Shirley. Hi, ladies. Hi. Um, thank you so much for coming. I'm so excited to meet you and have you on the show this morning. Well, we're so thrilled to be <laughs> here that Rockford invited us. You're welcome anytime. Hey, we want to make this our home. <laughs> yeah, that would be ideal, wouldn't it? <laughs> so before we talk about why you're here, we are going to talk a little bit about why you're here, why you two specifically are here. Mabel, you played with Peoria, right? Right. And Shirley, you were Rockford Peach. I was. That's like a big deal. <laughs> it was a big deal at that time, absolutely. Absolutely. I didn't grow up in Rockford, and my very first experience okay. with Rockford was watching a league of their own. So to me, Rockford Peach in the present is very, very, very cool. So tell me a little bit, uh, Mabel, how you ended up with the AAGPBL. Well, it's just like in the movie. They had a <laughs> scout come out, and um, I was playing softball in Inglewood, California, and he says, hey, Mabel, um, we're going to have a, we have a league, a baseball league. And I says, uh, we want to play professional baseball. And I said, forget it, there isn't one. <laughs> he said, oh, yes, there is. I says, well, forget it, my mother will let me leave the house. Well, we went on about five minutes about that. So he says, let me follow you home. I said, fine, <laughs> you're wasting your time. So anyway, he did, he followed me home and my mother wore the pants in the mm -hmm. house at that time. And so he was talking to my mother and dad and she was sitting there and saying, no, 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 my daughter's not leaving, you're wasting your time. Then he looked at her and said, Mrs. Blair, don't you understand we're gonna pay her $55 a week. My mother looked over at my father and said, George, Go crank up the car. I'm packing her suitcase, and she's <laughs> on the next train out of here, and that's the way I got in. How old were you at the time? I was 18. Okay. It was probably a big deal. You're going from California all the way out here? All the way. Yeah, and <laughs> I love it. That's pretty cool. Very, very cool. Shirley, what's your story? Well, my brother saw an article in the newspaper saying that they were holding tryouts for the All-American Girls Baseball League. Uh -huh. Well, I was 16 years old, scared to death, and uh, he wanted me to go down and try out. No, no, I don't think I can. He says, well, I'll take you down. He says, we'll just sit in the stands and watch. Well, I think he knew that once I got in the stands, there was no way I wasn't going to go down there and try out. And I did, tried out. A couple weeks later, I got a telegram saying to report to spring training in Indiana. <laughs> Ooh. Well, my brother and my dad and I, we're all happy. We're going to go play baseball. And then my mom jumps in and she says, wait a minute. I never heard of any girls' baseball league. She says, how do I know that, uh, what's going on down there, taking all those girls down there to Indiana? She says, no, I'm going with her. So my mom bought a ticket, went on the train with me. We went to Indiana. She met the chaperone and the manager. They assured her that everything was on the up and up. And so she looked at me and she says, you can stay. <laughs> and so what years, what year was that? It was 1949. And what year what, did you 1948. start? 1948. Okay, what year, what year did the whole league start, do you know? Yeah, it started in 1943. Know. Okay, I thought it was a little bit earlier yeah, than that. Yeah, no, 43 and ended in 54. Nobody was like sending pictures on Instagram, so that's why your mom didn't believe it was real. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, we don't have all that modern stuff. <laughs> no, very, very different world we live in. However, you do have this, we have to show this, how cool is this? baseball cane and it has your name on it too and who's all these signatures oh it's a lot of the la dodgers uh, a lot of our ball players sharon and david robinson we were at jackie's 42nd and, uh, and a lot of uh, women baseball dignitaries that's on there so you walk around and everyone knows you're up to something <laughs> oh my gosh yes they see me coming they run <laughs> so tell me a little bit about why you're in rockford what's going on with the center go ahead Cheryl. well uh, of course, I, I hope everybody knows that we have Baseball for All tournament here this, mm -hmm. this week, and uh, we have over 400 girls, and uh, Justine Siegel has brought the team here to Rockford again for another national tournament, and uh, we'd love for the people to come out and see these young girls play. They are just phenomenal. Uh, we, can, we cannot get over how, how good brand of baseball that these girls play. Yeah, we want them to play baseball, give them an opportunity yeah. to play baseball. Because they always push the girls into softball, but they want to play baseball. So we have formed this now, and we've got thousands and thousands of girls now playing baseball. We want to make Rockford the cradle for women's baseball. 
which it is. Mm -hmm. And we'd like to have another league of their own. And that's what we're working for. We're working for the museum, for the IWBC, for women from all over the world, not only the American girls, but all women. That we can have come here and have our world tournaments right here in Rockford. We would just be thrilled to death. And Rockford now is beginning to support us and we're so happy about yeah. it. We're just thrilled to death. That's super incredible. My uh, four-year-old nephew is really good at baseball, and is I he? used to play softball, so he makes me pitch to him, and I pitch underhand, and he yells at me. So he would have loved if I would have played baseball instead, but I'm, I tell him I'm more accurate underhand, so we still play. So you talked about uh, what you want to do in the future. We, we know that Penny Marshall, you know, she left us um, recently, last year, I think maybe the year before, and she was director of a league of their own. So there's a celebration happening in Rockford in her name, right? And yes. Soon. Very soon, September, September. Right? Yeah, September. And what can we expect with that, do you know? Well, we're hoping um, that we're going to raise a lot of money. Uh -huh. And Rockford, I understand, is doing a fantastic job. Mm -hmm. And I am so thrilled, <laughs> you have no idea about, I think I might be able to live another year, you know, raising all this <laughs> money for our big dream of having a museum. And we're putting up the pylon of uh, Penny Marshall and honoring her there across from Byer Stadium where the Rockford Peaches where the Rockford Peaches play ball. <laughs> and I hate the Rockford Peaches to this day, you know. But uh, this is what it's all about, and we need all the support and help that we could get. Wonderful. So more information at internationalwomensbaseballcenter.org. Thank you both so much for coming. Like I said, come back anytime. Hey, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Michelle. There's no crying in baseball. Let's hope there's no crying about the weather either. We'll find out together. And right after that, Michelle Markham talked with the Wiggles. And they're back on tour. We'll be right back.